stuff like that. See when, when she go when she go those little shapes like that. It's too much. No, it's too much. Above. It's not too much. It's too repetitive. So your your eye picks up and goes one, two, three. Howdy folks, my name is Gary Garretts and I teach landscape, figurative, and animal drawing at Otis College of Art and Design. I've chosen this site because of the interesting variety of plant shapes, shadow patterns, and textures to build a harmonized composition. Here's the other barrel cactus, see I'll make it smaller. See I'm readjusting sizes. Mm -hmm. Set it in first, and now what I'm doing is I'm populating it. I'm like hit the bottom, hit the corner. See that's gonna be going outside the page. This hits over here, so what you're doing is, is by the time I get done, it'll be all for the size of the composition. So the really noisy stuff, see right there? That's the shape of those little teeny tiny uh, googly eye cactus over there. So I leave that to last to figure out how all the shapes, like how that shape design works with that one. Still readjusting a little bit. I'm gonna get that piece farther up. So see this area right here, Cameron? And then I'm putting in right here with all these other cactuses. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to unify that out with just a simple value structure and then put a few little details in it. Now I'm starting to block in the major value shapes, watching for values and edge similarities and contrasts. That creates focal points and atmospheric perspective. Working up the value shape design helps organize a rhythm and harmony in the composition. The eye moves over the design, seeing what needs attention. Match this tone, see this value, and then cut those. See, and then match up the value there, and then come across here, cut that tangent. Cuts across the darks. And then you come in here and see. And you work these up and this up at the same time. And a little cactus hairs. Do the same thing here. See if I want to draw a little flower. In the light. Yeah, see? I'm gonna draw little shapes like that. See, I want to keep that edge. it down here, see, and then attach it to the shadow. Make sense? Mm -hmm. And then pull 
little shadow back there. So everything goes like that in. I'm going to come back in here and just silhouette around those cactus. Why do you do that? Just a second. Because that way it, it takes on the gray. See? So I'm going to come back in here and take all these grays and just run it all together. Now I'm going back into the refining process to pull the composition together with cast shadows and reinforcing or softening the lost and found edges. Not that they were looking chromey, but they were just looking a little too uh, beach ball-y. Change the shape a little bit back here, give it a little bit more of a crunk. See camera, and then right here, that's where you put a few little details. See, it sort of anchors you out in the front, and you can even do stuff like, here's a little texture for the rocks and then see that whole cluster of look so all that cactus so, sort of clustered as one value shape as one of the last steps i work over the entire composition adding and editing information about the landscape this gives focus to specific details and textures over the drawing Thanks for watching folks. Cameron and I are starting another composition focusing on ambient afternoon lighting and water reflections. See you later.